I wanted to show you guys is the market scanner now. So we actually did build some pre-made templates uh, for these Manthor Q levels. Let me show you guys on the TrendSpider store. We have one called the put support scan, the call resistance scan, and then we have the one day min and max and the HVL scan. Probably gonna stick just to showing you guys, you know, the put support and the call resistance scans uh, first off. So anyone can go in here and add these to TrendSpider. And basically what the scanner does is pretty straightforward. It scans for stocks trading at the put support. Uh, which is very helpful if you're looking for trade ideas um, and once you go ahead and you know import them into your account uh, you'll see them right down here um, this is how you get to the store page using these ones the yellow links but once you import them you will see this let me see the put support is right here and so again these are just scan templates since you have to enter your api key we do recommend making your own um, and putting your API key in so you can actually save them. Uh, but this you can use to uh, kind of just build them on your own, use them as inspiration. So as you can see, the scan is actually very simple. All it is is that it's scanning for the put support level to be within range of the current price by half a percent. And so if we were to run this scan, um, it would literally just find any stocks trading uh, in the index you're searching in, in this case, the S&P 500 index, um, by that amount. And let me show you now, since it doesn't have the API key, um, you have to put that in. So if you click on the parameter right here, you just enter the API key right there, press apply, there, press apply, and then that's how they'll work. Uh, but let me show you, since these are templates, how to build one on your own. So that, because if, if I were to close this out, the API key wouldn't save. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click new scanner real quick. You can name it anything you want. Just name it Menthor Q, put supports live. Um, we'll just search it. We actually have the Menthor Q watch list. It covers all the stocks um, that Menthor Q does and all the assets, including not just stocks, you know, crypto and futures, all that stuff. And then once you have the scan searching in the correct watch list, you just add a condition and then you're gonna use indicator, of course. And for the scans, we recommend using the 30 minute for these Menthor Q um, indicators, cause that's you know the lowest one you can use. And then you type Menthor Q. And in this case, I'm gonna be building the put support scan. And so I go all the way to the bottom down here. These are the ones on the chart. These ones down here will just be the levels from the indicator. And I'm just gonna click the put support and then I'm gonna do is within range of the price. I'll use the five minute. And then very important that you guys use the closing price so you get the current price. And then you can do by whatever percent you want. We set it up 0.5%. And uh, also very important, click the current candle box. So that way it's scanning also the current candle and not the previous candle. So you're getting those kind of uh, real time results. And so there is one of them. You have the put support level. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, but on this time, I'm going to add the zero DTE one as well. So I'm gonna put Menthor Q put support. Um, and then it's gonna be the bottom one here is the zero DTE. So that way we can scan for stocks, trading at either the zero DTE or just the regular put support. Uh, and we're gonna do within range of the price Use the five minute close by again, 0.5%. And again, enter your API key into these boxes. You click it, paste it in there and apply. And once you do that, um, you press scan and it'll go ahead and scan for stocks trading within the put support level. So I'll let that go for a second. I actually already have um, another scan I built up here on that list, but um, before we do that, I actually want to show you guys too. You can also add, if you have another indicator that you like to combine with these levels, you can go ahead and add any indicator or even fundamental um, criteria, anything you want. So in this case, I'll just add like, maybe you want the price to be under uh, the, or you want the RSI to be under 30 when it's coming to the put support. 
just for a little bit more confirmation, you can just add the RSI indicator is less than a constant value of 30. And in this case, it'll find stocks at put support within half a percent. And then also with their 30 minute RSI under 30 for just that extra validation. And you can use this on any indicator you want. Um, one other thing too, if you wanted to just hide stuff from the scan, you can click the eyeball there. So maybe you just want to look for uh, zero DTE today. You can just unhide that one and only search for zero DTE pretty easily like that. So yeah, that is basically how you build the scanners in TrendSpider uh, using these levels. And all the levels are in there. You can use the conversions, um, the blind spots. Uh, Fabio, does that all make sense? Do you have any questions on that aspect? No, I think uh, uh, what I love about this is that uh, this can be done also intraday. So you can. So this is very powerful because sometimes we want to find ideas and mm -hmm. we cannot monitor maybe 100 stocks or 1,000 stocks. And having an updated list that can scan throughout right. the day in real time is very, very powerful, I think. Yeah, so I think for sure. So I think there's a job there in, in creating this technology. Yeah, definitely. And then once you actually build the scan and save it, um, you don't even have, so you can close the market scanner. I already have one right up here. And then you can just add a watch list too, uh, to a new column or the current column. And then whatever that uh, scanner you just made is called, you just type right up here, Menthor Q, you know, like put support. Um, you just add it and it'll appear right here on your chart. And then you just click uh, the refresh button right here and it can rescan for you anytime. And it'll basically just pull up, you know, any stocks trading within range of the put support. Uh, again, you can make it for call resistance. You can make it for any of these levels that you want. Uh, so very flexible. You can combine with other indicators on your chart, um, combine with, you know, even fundamentals if you wanted to. Um, so very powerful way to scan and find trading opportunities based on these levels. And yeah, it's, we have a support team that can help you guys, you know, build the scans if you have specific stuff you want to do. But 